Welcome, my friends, to Night City. Welcome to Cyberpunk 2077. If you guys are just joining the stream, welcome. I'm so excited to share this game with you guys. So this is uh, part two. In part one, we did the prologue, and that's linked down below in the description. We did the Nomad prologue. You essentially end up here in Night City, in V's apartment. And that's like one point where all the prologues cross over, essentially. So, um, just so you guys know, I'm also going to be giving away lots of copies of Cyberpunk. One every single video, every day basically that I make a video, I'll give away a copy of Cyberpunk. Any donations, I'll spend on getting extra copies to give away as well. 2020 has been a crazy year, man. I think anyone who hasn't played this game yet, I know you guys are enjoy it. So, I'll try and give it away in the comment section. Just leave a comment below, drop a like. Um, and yeah, if you're a subscriber, you can win that. So I'll keep an eye out for, for like replies or uh, I'll post a message on your YouTube channel or something. So keep an eye out for that. All right, so we've got to go to bed and then we can start act one. Like I'm booting up on the top left. Everything outside is like live rendered as well, like even the cars in the distance. You boy, oh, Jackie. Hey. You get any sleep? Ah, no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something when I jagged into that corpo's bile mine. I don't know, uh, neurovirus or. Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought your ride. Throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. Sounds good, dude. Piece of shit, come on! Oh, no, no, no. No, what the worst thing is about this place. Yeah, the game's been great so far, man. Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping. He did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. <laughs> so how about it? Let's do it, man. Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. You can actually counter punch as well. Let me try and... There you go. It goes into slow motion. You got one hell of a punch there, champ. You ever thought of monetizing it? I can arrange a fight. I think we broke what your you robot, say? bro. So this is essentially the fight club. Let's ask him about the fights. You mentioned something about fighting. Hmm. I've seen you landing blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far. Especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? <laughs> Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. You want to get rich off my hard work, boy? Oh, I get it. You want to get rich off my blood, sweat, and tears. Hey, you gotta make a buck somehow, right? At least I'm giving it to you straight. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go, put down your eddies, and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Though, oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or once. Not yet. You can start in Kabuki. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. Your new robot sucks, then. V, your sweet little 45's waiting for its daddy. Purse after every shot now. So, this is the first iconic weapon you can actually get in the game. Let's have a look. So just to quickly uh, tell you guys, if you didn't know the way the weapon systems actually work, you get like different rarities of weapons. So blue is essentially rare. 
and using the engineering or the technical skill you can upgrade any weapon in the game to legendary quality now the unique weapons are labeled as iconic so right now the dying knight is a unique weapon or an iconic weapon as it's called in this game and you can see it's uncommon quality. Obviously, if I've got a high enough uh, technical skill, though, I can upgrade that to legendary and carry on using it throughout the game. You can also see the unique effect of this weapon is like near the bottom. It says increases headshot damage by 50% and significantly reduces reload time. And it's basically like a machine gun pistol. So it's pretty nice. Um, we're going to obviously go ahead and buy this. Um, I've also got some shotgun already, so... Probably just keep that on the side, to be honest. And I can sell him my other guns that I don't actually need right now. We'll keep the assault rifle for now, though. Do I have anything else? Yeah, we can sell him some clothes that I'm not wearing. Oh, you get so much loot in this game. It's kind of ridiculous, to be honest. All right. I think we're good. You've received an iconic item. Yes, I know. Thanks literally a lot. just what I explained. <laughs> yeah, I've played through like a bit of the game already, so I can kind of explain how some features actually work to you guys. Let's go ahead and equip this weapon. It's got a higher DPS, as you can see. Um, I've got it looks no pretty sick, right? No and you always get like an animation whenever you equip a new weapon. I've got a katana as well to show you guys, so it's going to be very exciting. But let's go downstairs and uh, meet up with Jackie. Hey V, Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Yeah, so you're going to get called constantly by different people. Like Regina, who... Um, let me just show you guys on the map to explain how it works. It's a bit overwhelming when you first start the game. But you're going to get called by, like, net uh, runners who basically... Not net runners, sorry. Um, fixers. Um, and they basically give you jobs around town. So she is in charge of Watson, which is this whole area up here. If you go into another area, you have another fixer who will help you out, give you jobs and work to do, and also rewards you and sell you unique cars and stuff like that. The sponsor for the festival Guys, I really appreciate the donations, by the way. Sorry if I'm like just going straight for the Let's Play. I want to keep like, this, this screen quality. But thank you so much for all the generosity, man. From all of us at WNS News, Absolute privilege so, to play this game early and kind of show you guys what it's like. So this is showing us like uh, what the map looks like, but I can go over that as we play the game. You'll see a lot of like random events in this game, which is really cool because it makes the world feel alive. Mm. Man of the hour. <laughs> Jeez, took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Oh, not me. Jesus, what the not hell me. was that? Didn't he just fall from the sky? Interesting. This is something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens. I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that it's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Totally the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated cool. How'd you manage that? How'd you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You and me? Oh, but T-Buck, she's the one that hooked us up, got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. Tell me more about Dex. 
Dexter Deshaun? What's the latest spec on him? I know you got info to spill. He's been off the grid for about two years. Word on the street was he took a little vacay. Two years? That's exile, not a vacation. What was he up to? Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while jerking off to hardcore virtues. Important thing is, he's back. He's a fresh crew, and he found us. What's the job? So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal is right now. I like how he actually calls sushi out of that. Like, not many games have that detail. We only accept Euro dollars. I mean, there's so many little details and graffiti around here, it's unreal. Why me, though? Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. All oh, Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. Now we got this. Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, Dios. Where you at? Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust off with the scabs. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. So we can cool our car now, which is pretty sick. Some top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. Here's your police car. It does look a lot better than yesterday. Let's hop over the seat and drive ourselves. First stop. Ripper Duck. And Holmes, easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. Chill, dude. I was supposed to stop by Vicks anyhow. I got a date. Me and Misty. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? Oh, God, no, Jesus. Perfect. What was that? It looks like, looks like Lee Sin or some guy from Naruto. This is the century. This is the century. Yeah, this is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. Sounds good, dude. So just to show you guys quickly, some of the like side quests you can do around Night City. For example, as you can see, there's an assault in progress over here. So you can walk over there and you'll find some like gangs and you can kill them. So it's a good way of getting like money and solving crime. You also increase your street cred by doing stuff like that too. How smooth is the gameplay on PC? To be honest, if you look at my PC specs in the description, you'll see like my PC is like a beast. And even then, like sometimes the game just drops frames. And I think it needs to be more optimized. Right, let's go deal with these gang members. How do we want to kill them? Right. So this is our legendary pistol. Seems pretty powerful. Especially with those headshots that they can put down. Leveled up our hands, gun skill there. You basically just level up things from using them more often. Ricochet weapons. And obviously there's loads of weapon types in the game, but we can talk about that later. This 
was the cop that helped us with the shootout. Better not get too close. Chill, dude. We'll go catch up with Jackie now, I reckon. A pistol for walking in the city. Or a rifle for a trip out of town. <laughs> Military. Protection for every occasion. This guy, anyway. Robert Gomez. I wonder if there's like uh, some lore about him somewhere. But you are not the masters of your memories, for your eyes do not belong to you, or rather, not only to you. This guy looks very much like. Do you uh, truly Tom, believe? Right? That those who have sold you your mechanical eyes have resisted the temptation to peek through them? Sounds like it too, right? Cameras are all around us, even within us. Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. I bet you do, bro. You look pleased. Because I am. Always. Makes for easier living. But... We got a new job lined up. I'm a big hitter at the afterlife. Before we go and see the fixer, there's actually sometimes a secret on the roof here. Go on the roof the other day. I found an epic sniper up here last time. Uh, check out the description for my system specs. The city is indeed a lie. Like stuff happens. It's pretty sick. Thanks for getting up early to watch, man. Yeah, if you drop a like on the video, man, it would be much appreciated. It's mad beautiful. Aha! A sniper rifle! This is a rare sniper rifle. Let's have a quick look at the spec on this, man. So we can't hold it yet. We need a level requirement of 20. 215 DPS. It looks like a bolt action. Does a lot of damage. Has a burn chance as well. Nice. And also some rare item components and some uncommon ones, which obviously we can use to upgrade our weapons. That's just some lore there, if you guys are wondering. There's a lot of health packs here. If you scan everything, you'll see some stuff you haven't picked up yet. Like, whatever this is. Ah, a studded... A studded ramen pleasure room. Very nice. It's more like a butt plug, to be honest. Alright, let's take the lift back down and go and see the fixer. laughing in the background. It's a kitty cat. Duh. Oh. Vicky, surprise every. The old Ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh, wow. So what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. I think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Used to be a boxer, clearly. You heard of Dexter Deshaun? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But, something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Alright, I'm looking to upgrade. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. 
<laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Any tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. You want the money? <laughs> nope. <laughs> no way. Imagine if you actually did loads of side quests that so you had the money to pay him. I'll pay you once it's done. Keep me Quit waiting crying. all day. I'll bring you the eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? He has a lot of chair, please. Sit down and relax in his arm. Kuroshi Optics, best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. No thanks. Oh, now check in. Kuroshi? That's top shelf. Kuroshi? Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. Let's go ahead and jack in then. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Cybernetic implants. So, this is all of the mods you can put in your body. Need to add the eye that he's just given us. Enhances your vision. And then we also need to add a mod to our hand as well. Ballistic core processor. Increases the chance to ricochet shots with power weapons, so bouncing off walls. Directly links the user's optical implant to the weapon system, offering a real-time data tracking. So you can actually see the ammo in your guns now, which is obviously useful. So we can also buy mods, which we can't currently afford because they're rather expensive. Integrity system. Shoulder armor increases your armor by 20. 2000 eddies. Skeleton. Titanium bones increase carrying capacity by 20%. And some arm mods. You can have the arm launcher. Mono wire. Oh my god, 15,000 eddies. Doesn't take you too long once you get playing to like get that. Also, the mantis blades I know you guys would be interested in. You need 20 street cred and 15,000 eddies for that. And the gorilla arms, which lets you like rip turrets off and uh, use them against your enemies. And we have legs. Fortified ankles. So you can charge your jump button. Or you can double jump with reinforced tendons. 45,000. <laughs> Mark 1, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. No, please. <laughs> Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Oh, that's so grim. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town. But been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. I'd have to get put to sleep for this if it was now me. a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Okay. Feel anything? Just gonna do it while I'm awake. 
Feels like I'm at the dentist. Nothing. Same as always. Don't feel a thing. You ask me that every time, you know? Not as if things are gonna be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but <laughs> what do I know? I'm just a doctor. <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh, Lights God. out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. The side quest will result in different You stories. might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? That's it? Seen more dramatic improvements before. Patience, kid. Give it a minute. Scanning people with your optical eye. You can see how strong enemies are. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust. But first time's rarely the charm. <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. Got a COVID-19 vaccine. <laughs> I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Data brace of wanted person. Yeah, so you can scan and capture people and get money for that too. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new site. Very nice. What about the virus? <laughs> How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Thanks, Vic. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. I've already forgotten. What is it? What am I looking at? A mild stem. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Who's winning? Guard up, you idiot! Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. On this got cash riding on this. Nah, just looking. <laughs> it's out of habit more than anything else. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh... How's biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corporals learn to keep their distance, and Saka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Good thing you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. You know what? See, hang on, be right back. <laughs> you actually end the conversation if you walk too far away. Pretty cool. Alright, let's get out of here. I'll come back with your money someday, I promise. Let's go and save the game and then go and meet up with Jackie. Kitty cat. Oh, we can pet him. Oh, yes, he's a good boy. That's how I pet my cat. Tell him he's a good boy. Mm, your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, and yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked. Next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, 
Do my best to talk us up. Grim what? Burgers? Sounds a bit grim. But you are not the master of Regina your memories. Again. For your v, listen. I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. Mm, that was very Geralt, that response. Incapacitate enemies, non-lethal weapons. Yeah, okay. We'll, 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 we'll see. We'll see. Look, this uh, body got dragged over here, and now they're investigating it. That's pretty sick. It's the first time I've noticed that. So I think Dexter is just over here. This guy looks nuts. Not so sure if face tattoo or mad cyberware. Hello there. <laughs> Again. You can hear the leather. Yo, Mr. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? He's basically asking me if I want to die then. A quick, crazy death. Mr. Nobody doesn't survive in Night City. How they remember you, that's all that counts. It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Details of this car, like you can see the wooden mahogany as well. Why meet me? Why the show? Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Bug sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you, but we'll get to that. Good job. Tell me more. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. The big dogs. Arasaka Corporation. Yeah, that's a death sentence. They're like the biggest corporation. They own Night City, essentially. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. NC's Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Mr. B? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush-hush. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Hmm. Maelstrom, Clyde. So ask about the Maelstrom guy. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Alright. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. 
Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's this Royce guy, then? The new Militech leader? Royce guy. What's he like? A straight psychopath. Chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that. Except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave drive. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. And the woman? Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. And the client, tell me about her. Client? What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. So I'm meeting the client then. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. We're gonna die. This is definitely like a death sentence mission, isn't it? Performing certain actions will reward you with street cred. We've leveled up. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nine, yeah? Claim to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Aye, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha! <laughs> Royce know anything about him? Nick, you don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other one. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Hmm. Ow! Let's start out with the client first. Know who we're dealing with. Then speak to the Maelstrom gang. Parker. Think I ought to see her first. See what she's like. What she's after. Orale. 
In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. <laughs> nice one, Jackie. All right, so let's have a look at our journal here. We've got some side jobs. Have a run in the store. T Bug wants us to prick up, pick up a program from T Bug. Him. Sent me. Said you'd have something for me. You're V, right? She had me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third gen deck. Got a Militech power line? Got a Militech power line. Think it'll do. Mm. Solid gear. For a beginner. Ha, <laughs> alright then. Okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shim soft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. So a demon is basically like uh, a software hack that you can buy. So when you scan an object, it comes up with like a list of hacks and um, those hacks are demons. So short circuit, you can ping enemies. Uh, seem she seems to have got a ping. So this basically is really good for stealth. You don't need a hacking skill to use it in stealth. And you can kind of get through a lot of the game with that. So let's go ahead and get it. It's free anyway. And you know what? We'll sell her some of our... Crap we don't need while we're here. Pistol does more damage than a submachine gun. It's quite funny. More accurate as well. Is there anything else that's worth buying for us? Calls over one enemy squad member. Pretty good for baiting people. I mean, the electrical damage is nice, especially if we're dealing with Militech stealth-wise. So I'd recommend that to you guys, but I think we're good. We've only got 1,000... Eddies, so yeah. Anyone can shop here then. How's this work? Any punk off the street can waltz in here, grab some shady running soft? No, not just any punk. Over the counter, we fix cyber decks. But if you come recommended and you know what you are looking for, I'm sure you will find it. Hmm. Alright then. Got to go ahead and go to our cyberware, click on our eyeball, and then we can equip our explosive analysis. We've got that mod, actually. And then we can equip the cyberware, which is the ping ability. Reboot optics. Reset the enemy optical cyberware, rendering them blind. That's pretty nice. Or short circuit. Might swap that for short circuit, actually. So ping and short circuit is what we got. Pretty good for stealthing our way through stuff. If you want to have a little demonstration of that. Okay, so where do we need to go now? We need to go and meet the client, and she's at like the Mox nightclub. Lizzie's bar between 6 and 6 p.m. I guess it's a bar, so it's going to be the evening. All right, let's call our car. You can buy loads of cars in the game, by the way. I'm actually going to do a video on how you get the best cars in the game. Maybe we'll go over that in this stream or tonight's stream. Is there anyone behind me? I don't know. You can change the key, by the way. Oh! I'm so sorry. Sometimes people get like uh, really triggered when you get like a police rating for buffing people's cars and stuff. I do very much enjoy first person drive. I'm, I'm British. I'm British American. Driving on the wrong side of the road. Oh, is this the place? Oh, it's here. Okay. 
That'll do. Is it 6 p.m. yet? I think it's a bit early. It says close, so that's cool. We're closed right now. All right then. She's got that oily body effect. It's like the Skyrim modders got hold of this game. <laughs> All right, let's save the game quickly. Uh, and then let's... You can easily just go ahead and wait. So, skip time. Cannot skip time right now. Why not? Why oh, sounding too close? Okay, now we can skip time. That's weird. Two hours. Mate, I'm going to be there when it opens. Bang on. The skip time is so satisfyingly fast, though. Look at this dude. He looks sick. I'm not in the mood. Can you give me a break? Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Brain dance? What's good? What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, tur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? <laughs> oh yeah. Bespoke? Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Oh, great. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. Just boy does off, though. Her hair looks sick, man. Like, the dye and everything. God damn. My, what a sweet little face you have. What? You want a new friend? No, I want to read this. Kiss my dead spunk! Sorry, what? Excuse me, madam? Damn. Yeah, I'm up already. Yeah, this place right there. That guy's zoned out here. Yeah, that guy got anything. you something. Is he still working? So, curious. The name Lizzie's. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot all in all. Good old days, eh? Ah, stories of the golden days. Inevitable demise and the inevitable drink over sweet memories. All what makes the tall tales easier to swallow. So, what went wrong? Tiger Claws shot up Lizzie. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad ones. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. Gang came back the next day. This was done. Tigers gave this place up to the mocks in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. The big boss now is Susie Q. The sign stayed up, out of respect. It biz booms to this day. So where's Evelyn? I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Oh, a big tipper. Well, three out of four. Answer the question. 
Just answer the damn question. Seem a little tense, Chumba. We'll grab a box. Might take the edge off. Have fun, relax. Find me once your mood's improved. I'll serve you a drink then. It's all right, Mateo. Yeah, now you pull me Evelyn a Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. My tequila of choice. Sense on? Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Ah. With four reflexes, we can have a new dialogue option. Why meet here? Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. Know a place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. She downed that, dude. So, what can a horny girl like me do for a hungry guy like you? A little vanilla and sprinkles? Or king here? Nothing's wax. Wrong. Really? Maybe electrosex. Zappies. V. Power implants? Mm -hmm. Nah. Here's what I want. You and your girlfriend wearing high heels, blindfolds, and big gigs. I'm waiting. Mm, no problem. You buying or renting? Brenton. How much? Okay. Relax. Okay, guys. Just... Nice. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional. Effective. And trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. I'm the best. That's the cool skill we need. You don't care what Dex thinks. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No. Just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? Were you writing Dex's bio? Just started working with him. I'm Let's waiting. Let's talk biz. I mean, it's nice, but I didn't come here to get my ego stroked. No. You're here to gain some knowledge. The life-changing kind. Well, now you got me all excited. Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? <laughs> no, out of my price range. I've had the opportunity. Play it very cool. You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Tell me you're one of them? Hmm. Seriously, though? He's my target. So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. 
He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. No. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. I love the club music. They've really nailed what it actually is like. Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Intel. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Hmm. Netwatch. Something doesn't add up. Wait, neutral Netwatch is mixed up in this. Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game, and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. So what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watches and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens and I get the chip. Hmm, I see. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. What else do you know? What else you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path, and so has his own designs on the corp. Hmm. Maybe he's just got a taste for power. Could be another power-hungry corpo dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. I think she knows And when you well. plan to exploit fully. <laughs> so what's the relic? One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant. Entirely. Ah. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, B. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Alright. Okay. What's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. No, they can be a very useful tool. Would you good for like anything else? analyzing yeah. details, human perception, you. even boosted. Doesn't grasp you do the math. exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. 
Mean to say you recorded this? Mm hmm. BD Rec implant. Why, you object? Well, she said she knew him. Seemed like very personally, to be honest. Oh, yeah, there's an option for that. Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Mm -hmm. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a uh, mox. No. No, not the no, latest no, no, member no. of your crew. Ugh, Try not I do to forget. Not want to hear it. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. She Relax. Up a date. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. <clears throat> hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Not too bad. Sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors. It's top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Mod all this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? Thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that'd support additional scanware. <clears throat> all right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Oh. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. No. <laughs> so we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? A dip? So roar about it. What do you mean by raw? How's this differ from the ready-mades? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass-market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced-in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. I wonder if she used to be Valentina because of all of her tassies. Here we go. Time to brain dance. How exciting. Gotta create your sensory profile first. What? A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. You need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue environment. Mm-hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Profile away. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, way. now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. 
Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. You do this often? Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn tuning. Crank up the orgasms? More like cut out all the other shit. Fucking's business as usual for these guys. Their minds wander to grocery lists, spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things, mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So, I can't complain. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where can we... Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. What do you choose? What you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly though. You ready? Let's do it. Just gonna pop to the toilet, guys, while this runs. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Down, everybody, on the ground. I want to see you kissing the flooring. Money, now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God. Whoa, yeah, uh, hey, uh, uh, now. Before I blow your fucking head off! Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That was too much. Yeah, you could have warned me. That flash of intense shock. I can still feel it, I remember. Fuck, that last second. You could've warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. Sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array, you'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. You can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the game. Get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back yeah, to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast-forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing off the screen. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plants. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in. Yeah, those sacrifices to you. And remember, everything is the gun. That's why I'm extra quick to run the night. Okay, right here. X. 
Excellent. Let's move on. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Hmm. Okay, fuck! On you ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? <laughs> so, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw, stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Mm. Hello, nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. Everybody, fuck out! Watch your money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. The wounded chick. This one, I guess. Alright, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Look, you have to now! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. His own chumba. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Very creepy. All right, let's exit. Now we get to look at the client's recording, so we can actually find out where this yeah, microchip it's impressive, is. Impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. <laughs> anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck. No way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Running for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Relax, Judy. Relax, Judy. Everything will be fine. You don't quite grasp the risks I took by letting you in here. What I'm risking poking around with this stuff. We're all taking risks here. That's the job. So either T-Bug patches in or I'm on my way out. Judy, please. <sighs> fine. Call her. Let's get this over with. Game is full of waifus. <laughs> That's cool to you, bud. To bug. Hey, V, what's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Doesn't matter. Unimportant, T Bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Judy. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. 
You ready? I'm Millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. Here we go. Now we see how the other half live. All right, B, eyes open. Gotta find out where you're know who's keeping the relic. Oh, what's up? There's already something here. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn, she... I felt her fear. <laughs> sure got it under control quick, too. I said no. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, that was incredible. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? It's Adam Smash. <laughs> Literally. Uh, all right, let's have a look at uh, Adam. Military grade cyberware detected. 96% cybernetic modifications. Now, when Arasaka HQ was initially blown up by the nuke, thanks to Johnny, um, this this guy apparently died, but clearly he's not dead. We saw him in the trailer. We knew he was alive. Here he is. Now looks like he's this guy's bodyguard. Interesting. There's also a alarm system here. Alarm firmware's fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. What's this? Another alarm system. Look at her purse, man. It looks sparkly. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. All right, all right. Uh, so listen in. Right, we've got to go to the audio track. Also, what's this? I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's involved. a tired, visionless old greybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality, stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists, of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must no, provide them. In Heard that? Relic docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Oh, we do. Some. It's quite interesting to see the scene from her perspective. So she actually went to get her up and drew. Wow, champagne's decent. The taste boosted somehow. Nope, just the price. Same bubbly you'll be sipping in real space soon. Saboroy is an animal from this one. Alright, let's fast forward then. See what else we can find. Sure. It might be Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even oh. long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense, edgy. A moment. It will pass. <sighs> I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Disgusting. Only one. Focus on me. Oh, got any candy left? Steph was pretty. What was that? There was something there. Something around here, apparently. Aha. On the ceiling. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. 
You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. And then automated turret. Holy crap. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally, no way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Makes sense. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. last time. Bedroom. Nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Partially cloudy. Changing the romantic mode. Let's Very see. nice. But come here already. Come here already, please. Take too long. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, oh, you don't like this. You learn the meaning. Aha, what is that? Scan that. Maybe if I go back. Oh, we gotta go on the other track here. There we go. Manual details a special tip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Is that a unique weapon? Liberty. Manufacturer. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. That is a unique weapon, right? Liberty Custom model. Hmm. Right, so now we need to check the thermal layer, which is here, as we can see. Let's just go back. Oh, one sec. Ah, okay, so it reveals everything if you just reset. All right, let's fast forward and check what these thermal me. layers are. Then you shall perish for good cause. Isn't that the champagne bottle? Oh, Donna Geese. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low, could fluctuate. Nice try, though. I was being creative, T Bug. Don't don't judge me. But it's like singing uh, around here. Oh, is that a light? It is. Self okay, there's nothing I need else a to scan. To Until we get to here. You get to mark it as it. Oh, there's something here. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Nice. We did it. Now we know where it is in his penthouse suite. So when we get, get there... everything you need? <sighs> yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. I'll put it on Ev's tab. <laughs> Portable Thanks. device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax. Relax, I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please, no shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. She doesn't want to get found out, does she? She must have had some bad experiences.
<laughs> Until next time, I hope. Thanks, Judy. Really. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. She's not convinced at all. Can I take this off her desk? Brain dance. And there is a locker back here. Magenta cutoff duo layer nano wear shorts. Beautiful. I don't really want those to be honest. I'll leave them for Judy. I think she has more use. V, one sec. Let's walk. Well, what do you think? Hmm. I'm afraid they'll tie you to the heist. You're not worried? Our sock will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? <laughs> this connection you have, well, obviously, we, we already know what the answer's gonna be, but let's make it awkward. I think I see how you know so much about Yorinobu. It's simple. Men like Pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex? Biz. And biz only. Interesting that you can ask her that. Is she a romance option? You sure Yorinobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you? <laughs> He's got no idea. Trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Besides... Even if some suspicion takes root in his mind, it shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. And that's something you'll handle, right? Right. Intel on Yorinobu, the chip, the BD from Kompeki. Wins are right. Plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm. Thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. You're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V, I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. So, what now? So, what now? V, do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No Dex. Ah. Ha <laughs> ha. No way Dex trusts me. I'll think about it. You want to haze our fixer? Guys, what do you think? Shall we drop days off? Dex off? Well, what do you, you think? You want to fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows. And actually follows. <laughs> but if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that will cost you a rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. YOLO, let's betray him. Oh, we can say I'll think about it. Can't even make the the decision. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. We should really level up now. Cool decks. How things looking, Mr. V? Did he hear? I got the recording. Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead. Nothing yet. 
on it now. T-Bug says no chance of that chip without that pie. To work then, Mr. V. Uh-huh. Grab this junk. That second hand. How's it going, Jackie? Met with a client, played the DB. All right, let's go over our character build, my friends. We can increase our body level, more reflexes, and technical ability. I think for now, we're going to go up to eight body. Put some more attackable ability as well. As for our points, what do I want? Annihilation, I think. We kind of want to start increasing our shotgun damage. Reduced recoil. Shotguns and light machine guns deal 3% more damage. Nice. Reduced reload time of shotguns and light machine gun by 20%. That's actually huge. Increased movement speed while carrying them. Increased damage to torso. That's going to do the most amount of damage so let's get one point in that we can increase that up to 20 percent or increase max stamina not necessary increase carrying capacity by 60 it's going to be pretty useful but usually there's so many places you can sell stuff health regenerates up to 70 percent of max health outside of combat it's pretty useful increases max health by 10 percent that's also huge I think we're going to go for just one point in this. It's pretty nice. Okay. Better save the game too at this point. How are you guys enjoying the stream so far? Got a lot of questions about uh, what I'm playing on. I'm playing on PC. Um, we're playing on pretty high settings. I've actually got... Um, the RTX turned off um, because it actually looks more atmospheric with it off without realistic lighting. Uh, you can see my PC specs below. The game isn't like fully optimized yet. Why am I going so slow right now? I think it's because I'm in a oh, Sorry, bro. Sorry. So, oh god, the game just crashed. Dude, at least we saved. You wish you pre ordered now and then the game crashes. Nice. Okay, well, one sec. Yeah, it does happen. So I played like hours and it didn't crash, and then here we are, it crashes. All right, let me just load it back up, guys. One moment. Sinking. That new save file, thank you. So you were nomad indeed. What's my graphics card? All linked down below in the description. You can check out my specs. My specs are like ridiculous. So I should be able to play the game with like, you know, easy 60 FPS 4K. Right now I'm only at 2K. And the game's still like, there's areas that you find in the game where like you'll have issues. Guys, I'm going to quickly stop the stream and start it again. Uh, you guys won't notice a difference. Just sit in the chat for a second because uh, it's a long stream.